Yep, so it's easier to do these uh, smaller folds first. And then we can work on the bigger ones. Yeah, the cat just wants to come out when, when I'm talking. I think there's someone else here, but <laughs> it's just the camera. Uh, all right. Um, so as you can see, it's like this. All right. So now the cover is ready. Well, it'll be more ready once it dries. Now we just have to make those uh, trim off the excess and make the pages that will hold. Yeah, cheese and heat. Right, so how do we make those sheets to hold them in? Same way we made all the other booklets. Except we only use one sheet. Okay, so I added uh, some clear plastic tape here. Alright, so here I've glued it up, prepared these uh, with the tape. You can add extra tape uh, if you'd like, just on the inner side um, here. Just gonna quickly smother both of these in glue. Now see, it, it would hold like this, but we're just doing it for the glue. Because those are going to be the principal holders. So we have one here. And another one here. And then put the book in the middle. Remember which side is down. The one that is rough. Okay. That we cut with scissors earlier. Alright, now our book is complete. Well, other than the fact that it still has to dry. But, as you can tell. Alright, and then uh, later on, once it's dried some more, we'll poke some holes and uh, add the pen. Okay. All right, so now we're going to be making the string. Um, which is uh, for the pen, for any tool you might want to have. See, we just pop this through, and here, 
Alright guys, did, you know, one thrown down, two thrown down. And now we expand this with our skewer. And now we just had to get some thread and put it through our needle. Here, I'll do that. Well, so. Um... Oh, hey, so I um, don't know where my needle is. And you know, not everyone has hardware wire, and I didn't have it in the initial uh, materials list. It's just kind of easier. But there is an alternative method that you can use just with this cube. Basically, we put the string on top of the hole. We could even use the back side. And we push it through to the other side. And we might have to do it a few times. But eventually, it goes through. And now we can thread it back. Yeah, we can even use the sharp end because it's not going uh, through very well. There we go. Not. So um, we can tie that Magnus knot again, uh, or we could tie a simple eight knot. And it's an eight slip knot kind of. So. As you can see it goes quite well. And now we have this long string. And the pen was around here somewhere. So this pen already has ridges, but we're gonna make some new ones for the purposes of this demonstration. Over here. And so, basically what I'm doing is I'm turning while um, sawing it with the file. You could also use a normal saw, I guess, like a metal saw or something. I just find it to be quite effective. And so I, I'm actually making a little spiral here. This is just to create some traction. Uh, just so the rope has somewhere that it can hold. All right. And so now that we've made this, we're going to tie a constrictor knot. This knot gets tighter the more that you tug on it, and so it's very good for holding on to this. Alright, so yeah, I guess that's all for, for now we have the book. It works. Could, uh, tape a title 
page onto here if, if you want to have a picture there. But remember to make sure to uh, have this glue separated uh, these pages. Sometimes they get stuck on the sides or something. And so you want to just flip through it to make sure that everything is well separated. Especially near the fold. See these two pages are glued together. This is, however, these are the first two pages, so this is proper. Still have 256 usable pages. All right, and that's a round number in hexadecimal.